Hi, Joan Marie Domino here from Decoupage Rocket Girls, which is a Facebook group page set up to learn different techniques for decoupaging on rocks and rock enhancement. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to put temporary tattoos onto rocks with some very simple techniques. So let's start with what you need. Scissors, brush, water, a little sponge, a damp towel, glitter spray, clear sealant, decoupage glue, rocks and tattoos. Okay, so let's start with the rock. What I did is I put on a coat of a matte finish paint. You don't want anything smooth or shiny. Um, you want to start with something that's matte. Now, the next step came from uh, my friend Evelyn Peeler, and what she did is she sponged on some glitter paint, and that made sense to me because now the tattoo has something to grab onto with that glitter, but I didn't have glitter paint. I had glitter spray like this and it worked absolutely fine and you can even try using um, glitter hairspray. The tattoo basically really needs some kind of texture to grab onto so that's a step you definitely don't want to skip. Okay so the next is tattoos. Um, temporary tattoos come in many different designs um, as you'll see. They look a lot like stickers so when you buy them you just want to make sure that it does say tattoos on them. And you can get them from the party store, dollar store, vending machines, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, um, Google temporary tattoos, and a lot of them will just pop up. Okay, so this is the tattoo that I have chosen. And I cut it out very close. And there's this protective clear film that's on top. And you want to leave that on while you're cutting it. And you want to leave it on until you're ready to put it on the rock. So I'm ready. I'm going to peel it off and it's sticky, but that's good. So we're gonna take it, and I'm going to put it onto the rock, and I'm gonna press. I'm pressing it down because of that glitter. That glitter's gonna already start to grab that tattoo. That's why that's such an important step not to skip. Okay, now the next step I got from my friend Kim Brown, and we, what she did is she put the water directly on top of the tattoo with either a brush or a sponge. And we were using a towel, and this just works so much better. So just take some water, put it on there, and you'll see the backing get dark and saturated with water, that card backing. And then just gonna press down with your fingers, just for a few seconds, because you want that tattoo to adhere, okay? Now we're gonna put down a little bit more water, okay? down so between the water all this water <laughs> and the glitter that tattoo is going to stay all right now the next step that I do is I took a damp towel because there's so much water on the rock and I put it down and what it did is it actually absorbed some of that excess water and I thought the tattoo just came out better that way rock wasn't so wet so I'm just going to press down a little bit like that. Okay, now we want to peel the backing off and I'm using a tool that looks like this and I got this uh, with a bag of paint brushes from a craft store. Um, it just was a whole bunch of stuff in it and this is one of the things and it works really well because I can slide it underneath the cardboard backing instead of using an X-Acto knife. And I'm going to peel it away like that. And there you go. Look how pretty that is. Right? It looks almost hand painted, doesn't it? Okay, so now you want to let this dry. Um, and when it's dry, you can go ahead and do more embellishing if you want. Like I do with this owl, I put some dots on it. Um, with this one, I put some vine. I added that with some paint. With these, I put a little bit of glitter. Um, with this one, I went crazy and I put a lot of glitter on this unicorn. On this particular rock, I not only did some little paintings from Starburst, but this is actually three different tattoos that I put onto this rock. So you can see there's many different things that you can do even when it's done. You can really make it very fancy if you want. Okay, so once you have it the way you have, you want it, you want to coat it with a very thin layer of decoupage glue. 
and then let it dry completely. Maybe even give your rock a day or so, and then you're gonna finish by putting a couple coats of clear sealant on. Um, that protects the rocks if you put them outside to hide them like I do in the parks. You wanna make sure they're gonna be protected from the elements. Okay, so I wanna thank Evelyn and Kim for their awesome tips. You can visit our uh, Facebook group, Decoupage Rocket Girls. There's lots of videos and tutorials, and we do some chatting there. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Joan Marie Domino. And I hope that you're going to try putting some tattoos on your rocks. And thank you for watching my video.